In this video, I am going to show you how to set up a PayPal business account. Uh, this is in turn to show you how to create PayPal shopping cart buttons or donate buttons or anything along the lines that you want to sell a product or donate product services to your website. So the first thing we need to do is you need to go ahead and go to this URL. It's the PayPal URL to set up a business account. This one right here is the standard monthly one that costs zero. It's the most popular because you don't need to pay anything. So what you need to first do is you need to click the get started button. Once you do that, it says upgrade to a business account and you need to choose an individual business account. Now if you have a business ID or a business number, you can choose one of these other ones, a sole proprietor or partnership or corporation. I'm just going to choose individual and hit continue. Once you hit continue, this is the information that people are going to see when they come to your page. What is the name that you want them to see on your payment pages? I'm actually going to put my business name here. Date the business was established. URL. I'm going to go ahead and put my URL in here. And category. Um, this is what I'm going to go ahead and choose my own individual category. Subcategory. What will your average monthly payment volume be? I'm going to put less than $5,000. What will your average transaction fee be? I'm going to put, um, if this was for my business, I would put somewhere in the range of 500 to 1,000. What is the percentage of annual revenue on sales? We're going to say less than 25%. Do you sell on eBay? Yes, I do. Um, this is optional, but I'm going to leave that on there that's associated with my account and then I'm going to hit continue. It says setting, start setting up your payment solution center, go to my business setup. So now this is all of your business information here. Um, you know, manage my money, my bookkeeping, processing my orders. It has all of your main information. It's just exactly like your uh, other PayPal account that's your personal PayPal account. You do your merchant services. Here's where I want to go ahead and create a button for my website. So if I were to create a button for my website, I would click here. So I have a client that wants to sell several products. So what we're going to do is go ahead and make a shopping cart button. And I am going to go to the website to add the information that he wants for his first button. So in order to do that, let me go back to my Dreamweaver site. He has a 10-6 Apple Blossom for $35. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to come back to my browser. I'm going to paste the item name. I'm going to put item number 1. And he had it down for $35. And then here we're going to put down specific amount for shipping. We're going to do $12. And the tax rate here is 7%. And I'm going to use my secure merchant ID. Here is information that I wanted to go ahead if I wanted to track my inventory or track profits or losses. I would go ahead and use that option there. Otherwise, here is customized checkout pages. Can your customer add specific instructions to message you? Yes, I want to add that. Do you need the shipper or the customer shipping address? We do need that. Once we're done, if we had multiple pages to cancel their order for checkout, we would put our URL and then forward slash cancel so that it would send it to the cancel page. Otherwise, once they're finished with the checkout, you can have it redirected back to your store. You can also have um, different HTML codes that you can paste in here also. We don't really need to get all that specific right now. Let's go ahead and hit create button. 
Once we have that, it's going to say this other information here. We want to select this code in this window, right click copy, come back to your HTML page. And I'm just going to highlight this so I can see where my information needs to go. Go into the code view and hit paste. You can now see there's a button that's added and it says add to cart. So let's go ahead and preview this. I'm going to save my changes. So now here's the page. I hit add to cart. And it will take you to my shopping cart. Now it will allow you to continue shopping or check out or pay with PayPal. So it takes you back to the website if you want to continue shopping. So now you can see that he has four products on this page here. We're going to go ahead and create the second button. You cannot use the same button for every single item. You need to go ahead and create a different button for each item. So let's go back to our PayPal account. And then here it says create similar button or create new button. Well, we want to go ahead and create a similar button because that way we don't have to keep putting in the same information over and over again. We just need to change the product name and the price. So let's hit create similar button. And here you can see it puts in all of the information that we've already put. The only thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the name. Paste. And then I'm also going to change the item number to 2 and then change the price to 45. Okay. And everything else is the same. Hit create button. I'm going to come in here to select the code. I'm going to hit copy. And I'm going to come back to my HTML site. I like this so I can see where I need to paste in my code. And then paste. All right, I'm going to go ahead and create buttons for the next two products. So the two can is next. So let's go ahead and hit copy on that. I'm going to come back to my browser. I'm going to choose this button here that says create similar button. That way it has all the information stored already that we just used for the previous button. You also can create a new button if you wanted to choose anything really different or create a view cart button, which will add last so that they can view their cart. So let's hit create similar button. Once again, it has all of our information in here. We're just going to change this here. It's now the toucan. It's going to be item number three, $25. Okay. Leave all of this blank, $12 here for shipping, 7% interest, create a button. Select my code, copy, come in here, and I'm going to paste in my code for my button. And there's my button. Now we need to do the last one here. Which is going to be this peak. Which is going to be the penguin. I'm going to copy that. Come back to my browser. Hit create similar button. Come in here, change the product name. This is going to be item number four. I believe that was $25. Yep, and it's $25. So I'm going to leave $25 in here. Same settings, we're going to hit create button. Select code. I'm going to copy that. Come back to my Dreamweaver. And then I'm going to paste my code in here. All right. So I'll style this later. Let's go ahead and preview. Save. That should be the apple blossom, and it is, and then this should be the hibiscus. So now I have an apple blossom and a hibiscus, I want to continue shopping. I now should have the toucan, which is item number three, continue shopping, and then it should be the penguin. And it is. So you can see how we have different products, we can update, we can remove, we can check out or we can go back in and continue shopping. 
So basically the only thing left to do is I would have to style this and uh, go ahead and add a button to view. So let me go back here, close this. And I'm going to create a view cart button. So use PayPal button or use similar, or sorry, smaller button or use your own. We're just going to use their button for right now to keep the same look. I would probably style and make my own buttons. I'm going to select my code, copy, and then I'm going to come in here and put this in the top level of my row and paste that in. Paste. And then we should have a view cart button. So there is our view cart. Let's click there and it should take us to our cart. You can see that it does. And now that I have my own individual business name set up, it takes me to where it says my business name and not your email address. So the importance to setting up the business account is to make sure that you have this all set up so it doesn't take it to your email. And that is basically it when it comes to making a shopping cart with PayPal buttons. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed this lecture.